I, Mabel King, do solemnly swear that I will be faithful. I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What did happen for that, please? Please leave. You come up for me before you chop bullet. Hey, 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 please, hey, please. Everybody, please. Nineteen people died, and they all died for nothing. The way he died, I don't accept it. I want justice for your father, but we just have to make sure we find the best way of doing it right. Two people came to see me too. They want me to testify in court. For what now? For justice. People need to collect punishment now. Everything you have told us could just have been a story the opposition fed you and paid you to deliver. Objection, my lord. Object what? Order. We need to hold ourselves up to higher standards. I agree. Look, you've tried. I really didn't expect that you will last this long. He's on what I did to Okumala. You don't know the things I've sacrificed, how hard I've worked, the things I've done to be here. This is my tribunal. We're trying to establish a baseline here. Mm -hmm. This is the minimum of what will happen to you here. Hey guys, welcome to yet another edition with the Consulty. If this is your first time here, what we do are movie reviews. And if that's what you're looking for, please sit back and enjoy. And do hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your post notifications so that you'll be alerted when a new video comes up. Returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for always being here. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Today we'll be reviewing a Nigerian movie known as Fourth Republic. Listen, okay? For me, when a movie begins, you know, I start watching a movie, that beginning of a movie, the way it starts determines the degree of my interest, you know, in completing that movie. I don't know about you, does that happen to you? What I see from that first, you know, 15, 20 minutes that determines whether I'm going to come up here, they will be reviewing the movie Fourth Republic. It's a, a film one production. Erin Kate Enshaw, Eina Wigwe, Aya Mohamed, Linda Ejofo, and a host of um, other notable actors and actresses, too numerous to mention. So Fourth Republic, as the name connotes, is a political movie, I would say. It's, beginning of the movie was captivating for me Suspe you know it had a lot of suspense it started with a courtroom drama um, when i saw the courtroom drama I, I i smiled a bit because yeah um it's my own field because uh, i'm a lawyer so, but that was the way i smiled because more often than not nigerian movies they make that blunder when it comes to acting out courtroom dramas you see that they just stick to one thing or they just turn everything upside down or try to introduce things that you know are not real so i was like you guys are going to bite more than you can chew right when i saw um the first scene so i was like okay let me see what you guys have to offer so well, the first few you know sentences he did this he did that did not do this you know the cross-examination and all of that okay i was like okay uh, what, what's going to go on what's going to happen after this and then the movie started it was just about nigeria okay a state in nigeria uh, political terrain where there were two political uh, gubernatorial aspirants an incumbent governor and a late senator's wife that's kit ensure the incumbent governor is supposed to be corrupt and kit ensure wants to clean up everywhere clean up everywhere and then uh, wants everything to be free and fair the next scene that we were seeing was um, a primary school where there were coppers who were coming to help rig an election for INEC. I don't know and um what happened next time was that there was a bloodbath and a lot of people died and um, it ended there fine and good wonderful okay now on to the next part got the news that there was violence in um a part it caught to um local government you know they were canceling the election they were nulling the election and that was it and then the governor the, was the supposed acclaimed the winner of the election of course Ketensho contested the results of the election. It is now back and forth. My own review, my own opinion. They tried. 
you know they tried to to portray what happens after elections in nigeria or you know in a state where there's a problem okay the troubles that happen but he lent me your ears for a bit why is it that most nigerian movies that have substance and good narrative you know touching on major issues in nigeria or you know major issues in the society just you know stay on top you do not want to you know, dig deep like they're afraid to to expand their rising or their, their is it that it's going to cost more money to dig deep because there's some movies that you can't do justice to you know for the movies to end at um, an hour plus it's you know you know with this fourth republic it won't work it can't work so at best what we were watching was a summary if you really want to give your want to give the, your viewers you know something memorable fourth republic has to be a seasonal movie for it to actually you know hit home and for us to enjoy it that fourth republic ought not to be a movie but a drama a seasonal drama a series per se okay everything was just up up and it was an amazing story to tell it was an amazing story you know to act out everyone acted out their role the way they ought to have acted out the role i don't i didn't see any loopholes there i didn't, i don't have anything to say oh you did this you didn't do that you know the lighting was perfect the sound was perfect the locations chosen for the different scenes was perfect much as i liked the editing and the lighting i don't know why was the uh, video why why did they have that coloring so it just it made everything look 1970s or 1980s early 1980s and i don't know i think that that's the new thing now everybody goes through that mode that color that color rendition i don't know i don't know whether they are i don't know what kind of editing they use whether it's da vinci or adobe uh, premiere or something color editing wasn't wonderful you know i don't know why they keep using that particular uh, color um reddition but apart from that the storyline was perfect the um everything was wonderful the actors and actresses gave it their all wonderful twist was where I discovered that kate Asha actually rigged the election she wanted to rig the election which led to the death of her chief of staff so it brought forward you know to the already acceptable way the drama would end okay because most times we don't get to see that in nigerian movies there's there are no twists you just know it goes it goes and you know it ends the way you expected it to end but in this way you know there was just this twist and it was it made it fun which brings our movie review to an end if this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed please hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notification so that You'll be alerted when a new video comes up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.